So we're going to check out this Hawaiian water. How do you pronounce this? Waiakea. Of course you do. Okay. That's how and, I pronounce it. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we could, uh, you know, we, we can ask. Uh, Where is it from? We can ask our research team. Um, this is from Hawaii. Okay. So this is naturally alkaline, has electrolytes. It's deep well water. So what's really interesting is I know there's no way this thing is going to taste like sulfur, but when I think of well water, I think you we think spoke so. about that before. Yeah. I think of that well, hard boiled egg smell. But let's see what's what's inside this one, and I'm going to test it out. Well, yeah, it's deep well water uh, taken from porous uh, filtration uh, uh, habitat, like uh, rock, like uh, what's the, the lava, lava, lava rock? Oh, yeah. right. It's okay. filtered like in in the Maryland, most of our drinking water is actually filtered through limestone, a layer of bedrock down oh, there. Right, right. Um, this is filtered through lava rock. Oh, um, yeah. of course it is. Filtered through porous volcanic rock. Natural electrolytes and minerals, naturally alkaline. This should be able to tell us if it is actually natural. All right, so alkaline. let's get on with the test. Crack open right. that puppy. Crack and, and open the bottle. All right, there are the, uh, the really expensive tweezers. tweezers. Of science. Yeah, I had to take out a loan for that okay. one. Okay, all right. Okay. In addition to our student. Okay, pack. here comes the dip. Okay, dip. Dip, 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 dip. We're supposed and, to count to 10. And the shake. Oh, put it back in there for 10. Yeah, and pick a language or something. Dip, 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 yeah, that's good. Okay, enough. good. Close right. enough. Ten. Fast this is very scientific. All right, All right, so let it just drip for a moment. Okay. All right. All right. Now we put it on the chart. All right. So what are our findings well, from our let's, Waiakea let's match water? Match up our our levels here. I'm going to try not to touch them with my fingers because I don't want to compromise right. the results. With my you don't want to taint it. I don't want to taint <laughs> our results. <laughs> okay. All right. So. On our first line, our total hardness, somewhere... Ooh. Between 50 and 120, it looks like. You think? I was thinking or, just the opposite side of 50. Look at our... Well, it's definitely there. 50. Uh, 25 to 50? Because of the grayish? Yeah. Okay. More gray? All right, so it's 50. Definitely less hard than our first example. Right. Okay. Yeah, because the other one was 120. Okay. Ooh. Hey, it does look like there's a, some trace amounts of free chlorines in here, though. It's not quite white. It's... Uh, Order on that 0. 0.5. Okay, 0. 0.5 chlorine. So some chlorine. Iron. iron. No iron. Zero ish? No, no, no iron. No iron. Um, copper. Ooh. Copper is between one and three on a scale of 10 plus. Wow. I didn't see that coming. Some copper. And a little outside of our preferred range, for whatever that preferred range is. I yes, know, sure. Why, why okay. Um, what coming. about lead? Lead. None, thank God. Okay. Okay. Because I'm, I'm trying to cut down on my lead intake. No lead diet. All right. Nitrate, nitrate, and MPS. Water quality problems. Uh, water test. I just want to know what MPS is. Oh, use MPS. Te prevent cloudy water in your hot tub. Use MPS test strips. What is MPS in water? Ooh, oh, or ooh. oxidizer, also called SPA shock, is a non-chlorine shock treatment that eliminates odors and reduces irritating contaminants to leave water sparkling clear. So MPS is used to clear up turbidity? Uh, yeah, it's probably like a coagulant to get rid of the suspended solids. I'm betting PS that, is, has, S is solids, I bet. But anyway, it doesn't look like there's much in there. Okay, so total chlorine... Is that slightly green? It's slightly green. So that means it's not zero, it's more like 0 0.5. 0 0.5 on All the right. chlorine out of 10. So All that's right. not the worst thing I've ever We've heard. We've got a very, very light purple fluoride. I'm guessing if it's lighter than the the, the darkest zero, then it's probably no fluoride. In there. None, okay. Uh, cyanuric acid. What is cyanuric acid? Cyanuric acid is a chemical compound like many industrial useful chemicals, this triazine has many synonyms. This white order of solid finds use as a precursor or a component of bleaches, disin disinfectants. Wow. Disinfectants and herbicides. God, I hope it was a low number. It was. Okay, Cyanuric good. Acid. Cyanuric acid, disinfectant. Okay. 
That works for me. Um, ammonia, that's like not even the right color. Yeah, this was what we had trouble with the last test too. Maybe there's something compromised with our testing kit. Okay, um, that would be the ammonia chloride, but we have no idea how to measure it, so right. not worrying. Right. Uh, bromine? Bro. Bruh. Bro. It's bromine. Bro mean. For our, for our, it's, still uh, looking, it's still looking low. It's low between more than zero, but around one to two. Okay. Out of a scale of 20, which One is... Two. And it's like, again, it's within the boxed range, which tells us, well, this, this guy yeah, thinks that's, it's, that's normal or should be there. Yeah. Now, our total alkalinity, remember the label says they wanted to increase the alkalinity, and our alkalinity is looking more like 40? Yeah, it's 40. Okay. Um, on a scale of 240, it's 40. 40. Okay. Carbonate is definitely 40 also on a All scale right. of 240. Mm. And which orange is that? Which orange on our pH scale? Um, it looks it look lighter. 4. Yeah, it looks lighter than our 6.8. But it looks a little bit darker than our 6.4 to me. Okay, so the pH is between 6.4 and 6.8? Can we call it 6.6? I think we can call oh, it 6.6. .6. And does it say what it's supposed to be on? I don't think it does. It just says natural alkalinity filtered through the porous lava rock of Hawaii. Okay. This is volcano water here. Okay. Running off the landslide of a volcano. Okay. So we're going to wrap up. What did what did we conclude from this test other than the pH being lower than it purports yeah. to be? What's nice about this labeling is it does yeah. give you a, what it's supposed to be, a breakdown of solids. And we found that the pH yeah. is actually, according to our test, lower than what the label says. What does the label uh, say? It's, the label says it should be somewhere between 7.6 to 8.2, kind of on the alkaline side, which makes sense because they've added natural alkalines into this to make it higher on the pH scale. Right. And we found it's actually slightly acidic, 6.6 .6 on our pH scale test. Right. Okay. That's good. Any other uh, numbers stand out here? Not really. I mean, uh, the minerals and the solids, we found it to be n not all that hard and uh, not that much... Uh, not it's like we're right in the middle, not too yeah. hard, not too soft, yeah. and, and yeah. safe, you know, numbers all around. But I do like they've got information that you can access through their label, check out their website, fact check, fact check them. Right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, an eco-friendly bottle. Yep. Now, um, we did look up MPS, that measurement. We should probably just tell the audience yeah. what it is. As much as I can figure out, it seems to be some sort of measurement of the suspended solids in the water. Yeah. Okay. How many suspended solids. And the cyanuric acid is oh. used in lots of industrial applications as a disinfectant or an herbicide. And luckily, there is none of that Almost in not. there. So that's good. So for somebody who would want like a water that's really safe, middle of the road, there's nothing to it, not too acidic, not too basic. Yeah. This would actually be a good, um, a good find. All right. So we're going to wrap up that our, uh, I guess that was our second water test. And then we're going to go on to our third. Yep. We're going to go on to our third. So we'll be right back. Bagel. 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 Bagel.